Hi everyone, and welcome to Chris J. Finley's Nuzlocke run of Pokemon Diamond. I've played a lot of the Pokemon games throughout my life. Played pretty much every generation. Diamond and Pearl is actually one that I never really got round to. So, this will be my first shot ever through them. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, Nuzlocke run opens up a few extra challenges. Basically, it turns it into Pokemon hard mode. If a Pokemon faints in battle, it's considered dead. Uh, you have to release it. You can only catch the first Pokemon that you see in an area. Um, so if it runs away or you kill it, too bad, no Pokemon that area. One exception, I will allow. Duplicate Claws. If the Pokemon I see is one I've already caught before, then I can get the next one I see. I'm not allowed to catch duplicates. A couple of other rules. Um, trainer items and battles, for the most part, no, mainly because, you know, this is meant to be a hard run, but where I will allow it is in um, gym battles, where the gym masters will often use their own potions. I'll allow myself to use two items there, so I can choose one antidote, one healing, etc. Battle mode must be put to set, so whenever the opponent is putting in a new Pokemon, I can't switch out at that time. I basically have to give my opponent a free shot if I want to if I want to switch Pokemon. Um, I think that's pretty much all for the rules. I'm of course doing this really professionally with beer. Um, a lot of the rules for this, in fact the reason for me doing this was inspired by Pro Jared, uh, seeing his Nuzlocke runs, and I thought, you know what, I really want to have a go at that myself. Um, a lot of the rules that I've imposed on myself are his, um, with a slight twist on the trainer items in battle. Outside of battle, I can use whatever trainer items I like, I can heal up, I can use antidotes, burn heals, whatever. I, um, I'm also not allowed to trade with NPCs for Pokemon. So if you have someone that wants to trade your whatever for whatever, not allowed to go through with it. If I am given a Pokemon in the course of the story that I already have, as soon as possible I have to release the one the NPC gives me and carry on with the one I already have. Um, Pokemon can use their own healing items, you know, they can hold berries in battle and use those to heal themselves, that's fine, as long as I'm not the one using the items. If all your Pokemon faint, it's game over. So yeah, this is kind of blind, because I really don't know anything about these generations. I don't know who the starters are. I don't know the gym order. I don't know what the regions are like. I don't know what's available in each region. So, this is going to be a, a new experience for me as well. What is my name? Oh well, go on. May as well. Bit of input lag there. <clears throat> My name is Chris. Yes, it is. I don't wear that stupid hat. <laughs> Fine name. Indeed it is. He's my friend. What is his name? Barry Damien Tyson Marcus. No, he is... That is my friend's name. My own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Blah 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 blah. Cut to the chase. Oh, um, one other thing. Story Pokemon that are forced upon me that I don't have a choice of. Um, they don't count as catching a Pokemon in that area. So, you know, if I come back to the starting area and fish, I don't know if I can or not. If I start come back to the starting area and fish, that's fine, that doesn't count. And I just realized I need a random number generator.
Same bat time, same bat channel. Okay, let's. Okay, options. Text speed fast, battle style set. Confirm. Okay, I'm playing with the D-pad. Gotta move slowly. What do you want, mother? Snurf! In fact, usually... There's a PC in the room, yes. With an item in it. Oh. Don't want to know about that. Okay. So. I know that. So just walking past those is enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get my own Pokemon. Oh, yeah. So I will be able to come back here and fish eventually. Nurse size. Oh. <laughs> Thud. <laughs> I was walking to people's houses. One million fine earlier on. What sort of lone shark are my friends. Well, I'm guessing the lake is this way, because we don't have any Pokemon to go into the tall grass with. Okay, the reason I want, wanted a random number generator earlier on is when it comes to picking my starter, I'm going to roll a 1d20, and I forgot to bring my dice up with me, so I need to get one on the line. Uh, 1 through 6, option A, 7 through 12, option B, 13 through 18, option C, 19 and 20, re-roll. Position. Pokemon! Alright, okay, so here we go. Rolling a 1d20. At least I think I am. Come on. <laughs> 20. Reroll. 1. Okay, option 1. I get Turtwig. Ah, I like it. Starly. I, I can only fight. Okay. <laughs> Epic. Battle for the ages. Oh, come on. 
Can birds grow? I know they can hiss. I have cockatiels and they hiss. Can birds grow? Yes, I used the Pokemon in there. It was a matter of life and death. <laughs> you might be in trouble. <laughs> Turtwig is rocking. Going back to my lab. Running shoes! Oh, also the Nuzlocke rules aren't actually in effect until I get Pokeballs, because it's unfair to put you through an area when you can't catch anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Running around! So this one won't count. <laughs> I'm really glad it won't count because it's a Bidoof! <laughs> Look at its stupid face. Bidoof has stupid faces. <laughs> yeah, Turtwig's slow. Outpaced by a level 3. Critical hit. Let's go in, Turtwig. Oh. Oh. <laughs> More Bidoof. Couldn't crit that time. Ding. Yeah, stats all round. Yeah, speed eight. He's pretty slow. I'm not sure I want to talk to this guy. Ah, good. He doesn't want to fight. Let's go straight to San Gem.
<laughs> yes, I'd like to give it a nickname. Hmm. How to name it? Per. Prunstall. Oh, works for me. Prunstall. I never normally name my Pokemon, but I figured this would be a a way of jazzing up this video for everyone. <laughs> what, you have to kill me? So basically, he's going to send me off across the Sinnoh region. Screw, you know, screw education. Every ten-year-old must travel the world with Pokemon. Good answer. I'm feeling I couldn't say no to that. Now go! I couldn't choose Piplup, the dice said no. <laughs> hmm. Random coughing. I know all about these things. I have played these games before. Bye now! Alright, healing up. I always find that sentence terrifying, like they're wishing harm on my Pokemon. Okay. I don't know if I have any money or not. Yeah! I got 3,000. Alright. Get some Pokeballs, get some potions. Don't care what you have to say. Right. Backtracking! Which one is my house again? This one. Yes. I don't know if it's my name on the house, not my mother's. Take a quick rest, dear. <laughs> I'm ten, and you're happy with me doing this? Bloopily. I'll be alright by myself. Where is my dad? I obtained a parcel. No, I won't take it. I'll go over by the lake and open it.
First things first. Verity Lakefront. Eh. Oversensitive. Okay, there's grass here. Oh, God damn it, it's a Bidoof. Well, well, it's strong. At least I get this thing out of the way. Copycat. That nearly went wrong. Well, I don't like having a Bidoof, but, you know, it's a numbers game, Nuzlocke. you got to have some people in reserve. And hey, if Elf else fails, I can dump HMs on them later on. Yeah, you are... Turtle. I really wanted a Starly. Might come across one out here. Route two.